Good to start. Yes. Okay. All right. Good evening and welcome to the Financial Review Committee meeting of April 30th, 2024. Madam Secretary, will you please provide a roll call? When your name is called, please answer with here or present. Member Frost? Here. Member Killebrew? Here. Member Pagano? Here. Vice Chair Mitchell? Here. Chair Amesqua? For the record, all members of the Financial Review Committee are present with the exception of Chair Amesqua. Thank you. Um, we'll move on to the public comments. There will be a three minute time limit per person and an overall time limit of 15 minutes. And this public comments portion of the agenda, all comments are to be directed to the Financial Review Committee and shall not consist of any personal attacks. Members of the public are expected to maintain a professional courteous decorum during their comments. State law prohibits the Financial Review Committee from taking action on specific items unless it appears on the agenda. Madam Secretary, are there any public comments? We have no public comments at this time. Perfect. We will move forward to new business. Item number one, approval of the minutes from the October 30th, 2023 Financial Review Committee meeting. Um, may I call for a motion? Motion. Second. Madam Secretary, can you call for the vote? Member Frost? Yes. Member Killebrew? Yes. Member Pagano? Abstain. Vice Chair Mitchell? Yes. Chair Amesqua? This motion passes by a vote of 3 1 1 with Chair Amesqua absent and member Pagano abstaining. Great. Um, the next item is the approval of the minutes from the January 30th, 2024 Financial Review Committee meeting. Um, Madam. I'll move the minutes. Okay, perfect. Second. Madam Secretary, can you call for a vote? Member Frost? Yes. Member Killebrew? Yes. Member Pagano? Yes. Vice Chair Mitchell? Yes. Chair Amesqua? This most motion passes by a vote of 301, excuse me, 401 with um, Chair Amesqua absent. Um, the next item on the agenda is the quarterly financial report ending March 31st, 2024. It's the recommended action that the Financial Review Committee receive and discuss the information provided and forward to the City Council with a recommendation to receive and file. Are there any staff reports? Yes. Great. Um, the City's finances are tracking within the amended budget. Revenue for the third quarter is up $1.3 from the same period last year. Uh, the main sources of this increase is due to an increase in investment income, property tax, and reimbursed expenses. Um, it is important important to note that of the 1.3 million, 336,000 is um, of investment income is attributed to the city's restricted Section 115 pension trust, uh, which is maintained, which will be maintained in a separate fund. Uh, expenditures are higher than expected, uh, that higher than the same period last year by 376,000. Uh, this is in part due to an increase in professional services, data technology. Um, and the San Diego Association of Governments Phase 1 preliminary planning activities for the Regional Beach Sand Project. Um, that completes my staff report, and I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have. I have a question. Well, more comment, and we can discuss it if I'm eligible. So when I read the narrative, um, for example, city attorney expenses through March 2024 are 1 million, our total 1 million, which is 315,000 less than the same period of the previous year. Mm -hmm. And then it gives uh, some uh, narrative to support that. But when I look at the line item, th this is the part where when there's when the narrative doesn't support what the, the financials are showing. I think we got to find it. Right? It was on page 18 on the report. Um, it showed roughly a million dollars spent, and roughly I want to say it was about three hundred thousand dollars, three hundred fifty thousand, two hundred forty-eight thousand dollars over budget. Hmm. Wait. Not 18 of the actual report, 18 of the. Yeah, so if I look at page nine, city attorney, original budget, 1366, monthly aid activity, 124,000, year to date activity, um, I was looking at the system, I was looking at 
Uh, it should be probably a page. Sorry. You're talking about the 248, maybe a 248. Yeah, I see that. Part of that is because. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. So the year to date includes encumbrances. So we must have a. It includes encumbrances of so it shows total spent year to date activity of a million fourteen thousand. It shows year to date plus encumbrances of one six, but your budget's only one three, so it shows an over two forty eight. Right. So we probably we probably paid an invoice, not on a I understand the, the encumbrance, yeah. but what my my point is I guess oh. that the narrative, if you read the narrative, it sounds yeah. like the, it, it's pulling back data to reference previous period, but it yeah. doesn't. I think for the report that we reference in from the narrative is the fiscal year to date expenditures, which is page 39. So it shows the prior year activity year to date and then the current year activity year to date, and then it shows the variance year so, to date. I, I get that. And oh, okay. So I, I question then is, is that the best baseline to use is the previous year? Because if you had a year that was either favorable or unfavorable as your baseline you had an, and that wasn't it was anomalous to, to normal uh, activity it would be uh, would be using a skewed baseline mm -hmm. right so my my comment my comment is just it very well it very well could be the right baseline but mm -hmm. when i read the narrative i take that as i would take that as we're favorably right the intuitive thing is we, we're favorably three hundred fifteen thousand dollars doing okay yeah versus in actuality we're high see what i'm saying so i don't know what the treatment it goes back to a comment I made at a previous meeting where mm -hmm. if we had an annualized calculation of say you take making something up we're nine months through the year you take the, the amount we've spent divided by nine multiply it by 12 you're able to see you know if you're going to finish on on schedule some of that stuff doesn't normalize because of right yes exactly but it's still there's a I, in my experience or mine the baseline of previous period isn't altogether the end all be all, and this could just be what's in the system, mm -hmm. like that. What we have for optics to see within the system, um, but I, what I find myself doing is doing my own calculations to see based off of what I think is going to normalize. And if there's a way to be more intuitive, um, I forget what you told me last time, Michael, about this up. Do you remember? No. Yeah, we, we um, compare it from year to year um, for all the other items, and so that's how we. You, that's the unit of measure we use for all the for everything. If else. you want to see how we're tracking, but burn yeah. rates, you want to burn right. Rate. Okay. Right. Um, and I don't think it's just for this. I mean, if we looked at any of our expenses, okay. you're, just, you're looking for an estimate to close, basically. Right. Okay. Because you could, I could take that narrative as my point. You think we're crushing it, and then mm -hmm. see the legal bills and do a different analysis, and I think that there's not parity there. And I think that's on it. this one. There, there may be something off in regards to paying it off of the PO and the PO wasn't reduced. Mm -hmm. so yeah, I it. think the report is misleading just because we have to do fix something on the accounting side. Mm -hmm. But I think normally if we had the encumbrances not, if we didn't have, if we charged everything against the PO, then we wouldn't show that overage. Mm -hmm. And then it would seem more normal. But we can look at different ways at maybe doing I, some sort of. I think I do remember. I was supposed to send you something. I was going to send you an example of what. Okay. And then um, I'll make a note to myself. Okay. Then, like, just, it, just looking at the numbers we're tracking on budget for legal. So burn for legal, about, yes. Burn rate's about a hundred thousand, hundred five a month. Three months to go. And we have three hundred fifty thousand months. So I think there's some maybe something quirky happening. There's something with, quirky with the with the conference. purchase order. Now. So that's, that's, that's actually, we're a, we're a low year right now. Yeah. We're low year, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So take, take a look at the encumbrance. Yeah, because if you look, yeah, it looks like we have like 601,000 encumbered. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking we might have paid an invoice not, or maybe more than one invoice not off the PO, well, the which is causing payment. an issue. So we'll have to go in and correct that. But budget is 1.36 million, and year-to-date expenditures just over a million. Mm -hmm. So, and oh, that's so through that's, that's through March. So we have three more months. But your encumbrances are essentially your accruals, correct? It's just these are remaining on the contract. Yeah. Remaining on the contract, okay. But that's essentially going to the expenses here. Yeah. Not necessarily. It, it's not an expense. It's a it's a budgetary account. Um, but is so, that so when we pay an expense, we reduce the encumbrance so that when 
add the remaining contract with what you spent, you should be able to track that last call and say, how much, where am I at? Right. So if I was, if the encumbrance had been deducted appropriately with each payment, it, that number should be about 350 per I think positive. part of the problem Got is for the legal bills, we we get the bill after the close You're of the month it. and we accrue it back. Mm -hmm. So there's something funky with their pool. That makes sense. Okay. And Your accrual's not hitting for sure. It didn't hit the PO. Yeah. Right. That makes sense. So we have to fix that. Cool. Yeah. Good catch though. Mm -hmm. Any other committee comments or questions? Okay. What, uh, for the do the these columns are clearly being printed right out of our little financial mm -hmm. system to get his calculation would we have to like put it in Excel or can yeah. you oh you would yeah, don't yeah. don't sweat it then I, I don't find it in my own stuff I just well it should be something I explain. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah narrative gets a little tweaked, right? Yeah. yeah. So that we're actually like looking it. at so. revising the format of the quarterly report. Um so it looks a little different and maybe it's a little clearer on the narrative. Um, we'll probably have a draft of it at the next FRC. Um, maybe that'll be helpful. Because yeah. we'll be able to show some like historical mm -hmm. charts and stuff that make more sense than what we currently have. Okay. Yeah. Well, we, or maybe even on just major items, do a manual adjustment to the encumbrance when you do the accrual of okay. the expense. And then yeah. when you chew it up later, you just have another entry. Yeah. yeah, we're 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 fixing this up, but it's just taking a little bit of time. Any other discussion? Do we want to call for a motion, or do you want to do you have anything changed? No, I don't think it uh, calls for anything to be changed. Okay, I'm so if we could call for a motion, is there a motion? Oh, I'll move um, recommended action, just approval of. The quarterly second financial report. Great. Uh, Madam Secretary, we call could, for. Could I make a friendly amendment to the motion? Please. Yeah. Just have the report that goes to council as a brief explanation on those variances. Yeah. In the, in the narrative. We might be able to fix the. Entry. Can't you just? Can you not just relieve the PO before the council? That's what we were talking about. Oh. Yeah. So we would either do that or. Yeah. yeah. Make a mention of that would be my friendly amendment to the motion. So give me a second on that. I'll give you a second on that. You're going to second that? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, Madam Secretary, we call, do a roll, uh, call for a vote, please. Member Frost? Aye. Member Killebrew? Aye. Member Pagano? Yes. Vice Chair Mitchell? Yes. Chair Amesqua? This motion passes by a four to zero, five to four to zero vote with Chair Mesqua being absent. Um, on to item number four, the long-term financial update. It's the recommended action that the FRC receive and discuss the information provided and for the city council with a recommendation to receive and file. Um, do we have any staff reports? Yes. So this is the annual update to our long-term financial plan. For policy, it has to be a minimum of five fiscal years. The updated policy or updated plan is six years, fiscal year 25 through 30. Um, it shows structurally balanced, um, the city structurally balanced through the forecast period. CIP is funded. Um, all our reserve policies are met. So we're in good shape. The city's biggest expense is our police services contract. And they recently updated their labor, they did labor negotiations and then did a three year agreement with the deputies and their management groups, which was an 18% increase over three years. So, our, so for next fiscal year, our Thank contract you. is. Circle. Go ahead. Question 18% over three years ratedly, meaning like is it equitable? tranches every eight years so they six, so seven. they got an eight percent increase in january this year they're uh -huh. going to get another i think four and a quarter july and then on the third got it right here it's, 
Five and three quarters. Yeah, they're getting five this July. So they got this January, they got 8%. They're getting 5% July 24, and they're getting another 4% to base salary um, July 1 of 25. So over the three year base salary increases 18% total. Um, so our contract for next fiscal year is going up just about 8.3 million. Um, and so we've kind of built in that, but beyond fiscal year 26, we're 8.3% of contract for fiscal year 26. Yeah, yeah. Oh, did I say something? <laughs> 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 okay, I know she did that. Yeah, yeah, it was eight point three four percent for fiscal year 25. And then, yeah. And so um, luckily we anticipated a big increase due to labor negotiations. So when we did our two year budget, <laughs> um, we were only off like I think 50, 50, 50 grand. So, um, so going forward, so it depends on, you know, I feel like the forecast is, is good for right now for the information we know. But did that mean our visit, this biggest expense and the way these police contracts, these large increases could affect us down the line, but we're watching it and we're aware of it and luckily the city's in good financial condition to handle that. So. But just to add on to that, we've also got the benefit of the Public Employee Pension Reform Act from 2013-14 that has a lower pension for the newer deputies, all the new staff coming in. So as the uh, older staff retire out, the balance of the workforce is growing. I think we're probably over almost half our workforce or more. Is that Just right about, now? yeah. So the same thing's happening with everybody else. So it gets cheaper because mm -hmm. the yeah, pension rates are lower. Um, so I think we're in good shape. We always predict the worst for them. The other thing that's not seen in these numbers is the balance of having when deputies go off on workers' comp, it's covered through overhead rates generally. So we're not we don't have that salary. And we might backfill with overtime, which is cheaper because you don't have the pension and mm -hmm. health care costs. Um, so we usually end up you know, this year I think we might be a little lower, but we're usually about a half a million dollars in savings on mm -hmm. that. I think we're yeah. tracking around like 350, yeah. 300, 350. So we've got some baked in savings. Yeah. Right. Okay. So that ends staff for If you have any questions, um, I'd be happy to answer them. Any questions? Yeah. Oh, and this is going to City Council on the May 7th meeting. Mike, why, I should know this, why, why are our transfers out so high lately, but in the future they're less? That's because we had a whole bunch of money in general fund that we wanted to move to CIP? We have real surpluses that we're transferring, but we're projecting using conservative revenue projections and expenditure projections, so the budget is transferred out in the future is going to be smaller than but we might actually realize. So it's just the reality is we've been transferring surpluses. Well, except, well, okay, but for this year, we're at 48, and we're transferring out to a total of 54. That's prior year surpluses. Prior year surpluses. So Got we it. do Which the annual transfer to the community investment account, like yep. in the carrier report in September. Big chunk of that is the surplus carry. Got it. And plus what we already budgeted to move to CIP. So we're both yeah, that's our CIP plus we have a surplus from the prior year we're transferring. Okay. And you know what? That's right, because the prior year we were at 51 and 50. Prior year 51 and 48. Got it. Okay. And it has to show up that way. Okay. Yeah, when you look at the actuals on prior years, you see surpluses, but um, if you look at the budget, it looks like we're upside down because transfer last year surplus is the way it works. Got it. Okay, yes. Yes, yes, yes.
Any other comments or questions? We don't have our CIP projects in here, though, do we? Not, really. in the, Not the projects no. themselves. No, there's that's, a, that's the seven year CIP. So it's yes. That, when we go on June of that? Yeah, it'll be the year. first meeting in June. So she's got Matt and his, the public works teams are projecting out seven years, taking care of all the roads, strong brains, everything else. But the active projects are on there. The active projects. Mm -hmm. Approved projects are funded. Yeah. Um, oh, that's anyway. right. And then there's a projection for the future all the way out. Oh, no, 2030. Yeah, I was just, I was really wondering what our CIP budget would look like after the oh, buildings. But if it's not in here, that's okay. It's probably something else. It's part, parts of the community buildings aren't decided yet, so we have money to investment. Yeah. We have, we have cash. Yeah. And yeah. we haven't decided exactly what we're going to do. But anything else like the. Uh, connectivity work where Caltrans is doing a bunch of work and we're doing a bunch of work. It's all funded in. Got it. Uh, the big storm drain projects for, that are happening now in the Atlanta district and soon in Capitol Beach on the main side of the freeway, those are all funded. Mm -hmm. Awesome. No, I mean, it, it's a great. it looks good. Mm -hmm. We need a vote for the recommended action. So what, pass or it on to city council? Or a motion to pass it on. I'll move the recommended action. Second. Great. Madam Secretary. Member Frost. Yes. Member Killebrew. Yes. Member Pagano. Yes. Vice Chair Mitchell. Yes. Chair Mesqua. This motion passes by a vote of 4-0-1 with member... Chair Mesqua being absent. You nailed it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was perfect. All right. Um, last item on the agenda for this evening is the fiscal year 2024 <clears throat> 25 budget calendar. Um, it's a recommended action that the FRC receive and discuss the information provided. Staff reports, please. Yes. So, Typically, or per policy, we take a budget calendar for the upcoming fiscal year to City Council for approval. Um, on the budget calendar are all the quarterly Financial Review Committee meetings. So I wanted to bring this forward just so to look at the dates and also maybe um, discuss the time of day, um, 4 o'clock on a Tuesday. I want to verify that works for people. Um, and if there's any conflicts with the proposed dates on the calendar before we take the council. These all look relatively similar to the prior years yeah. and the time. Yes. It's just it's four o'clock, okay? Four o'clock's great. Is it a problem for either of you? No, I think it's oh, it I would have thought it was a problem for you. Yes, no, no, right? for you no, to work okay. and we're all whole blocks so. I was going to propose Friday at 5 30. Oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> Nelson has a football practice at Friday at 5. That's You're like, horrible. Yeah. You can't be parents. You think that. If we're all good with this? Yeah. I think okay. this, um, this looks good. Okay. Is it good with staff? Yeah. Cool. It's all good with yeah. us. We'll work with you guys. Whatever works for you guys. Um, this doesn't require a vote. It's a discussion. It is just a discussion. Any other staff reports? Uh, no other staff reports. Any financial review committee members have any reports? I want to compliment C and her team yeah, on, the, on the long term financial plan in particular because that was their first time doing it. I got dressed. <laughs> I really uh, got to like, not have anything to do with it. I read it front to back and I was, I had literally no assumption changes. So I was impressed. He's bragging about you being here on Saturday, too. <laughs> wow. Good job, Good job guys. Yeah, good that's job. great to awesome. let Mike kind of back away. That's awesome. And it is, it, it's better. And Mayor Federico the other day said it like, the thing you think that the state of the city, things that people take for granted, which is like, this is going to be, I uh, said, a decade or so of the city having a surplus, whatever it was. It's insane. It's amazing, right? A lot of cities are having a struggle, so you guys are managing everything very well. Thank you very much. 
All right, so we're adjourned. Um, the, re the next regular meeting will be September 10th, 2024, 4 p.m. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. That was fast.